Hi, this is Dominic from Paphos Life, and today we're driving from Kings Avenue Mall in Paphos all the way to Coral Bay. So let's have the map. Right, here's a map showing Paphos all the way to Coral Bay, and we'll start at uh, the roundabout. And we'll be heading past Tomb of the Kings and Venus Beach, and then all the way up the coast road at Sandy Bay and Potama Bay, and from there past the main Coral Bay Strip because it's closed to uh, the uh, Coral Bay Beach and Coralia Beach where we'll be finishing. So let's have the over the top titles and then get on with the film. Okay we're starting at the roundabout you can see the walkway behind it and always when I make this drive the big question is can I get the whole route without hitting a red light and I think the closest I've ever come to it is one red light so we'll see how we do this time that one was just coming out of it so that doesn't count now the first point of interest will be a turning to the left soon which will take you to Lighthouse Beach not that one and uh, on the other side of the road from that uh, you'll have the new bus station it's all green here that's the turning you want for lighthouse beach and just up here is that new bus station it's all good so far on the uh, green light front there's the bus station opposite McDonald's and there's still a bit of an issue regarding the route from Coral Bay which no longer goes to the harbour but uh, last I read that they were looking into uh, that so that might change again so they do listen to consumers which is good like that turning there takes you down to Elysium and Duomo Pizza and the Acti Beach I think it's the Acti Beach no, Kefalos Beach uh, Resort down there. I'm just coming up to Tomb of the Kings on the left. This is Tomb of the Kings roundabout. And Tomb of the Kings itself is probably uh, one of the top three attractions in Paphos. And it's a very good day. If you haven't got time, but you do want to see some archaeology, then go there. If you want the full experience, go to the archaeological park, though. Ideally, go to both on your trip here. Uh, and if you go to either, though, go in the mornings, as soon as early as you can, when it's nice and cool still. And bring plenty of water to drink. And remember, if you like our content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, as it really does help YouTube promote us. And if you want to help us financially, then go to our pathoslife.com slash coffee page and you can either send us coffee or click on one of the affiliate links. Now, just up here on the left, not there, that is the turning for Venus Beach Hotel. But to actually get to Venus Beach, you need the next turning. And when you take that turning, you keep sharp left and that'll take you to a big, rough car park above uh, Venus Beach and look we've hit our red light the dream is over but at least now we can continue the rest of the journey without having that to burden us that's what I tell myself at night anyway now the dual carriageway is just going to be coming to an end soon here we are And if you have an I Spy book of uh, Paphos archaeology, then just up here on the right will be a big point score. Because there's a tiny little ancient, I think it was an ancient uh, aqueduct at one point, but there's very little of it left now, just on the right there. And it's only worth exploring if you're there at the bus stop, to be honest. We've got the King Evelfon Hotel on the left. It's 
And again, if you've got your little I spy book and want to get all the ticks, on the right just here, uh, if you park there and go and look in the shrubs land behind it, you'll come across uh, a rather nondescript necropolis. I did do a small article on it, but uh, to be honest, if you never go there, you won't have missed anything really. Now we're in Cloaca. And if you turn left here, it goes to an area. There's a few hotels and villas and there's a dimmer beach down there. And from there you can see uh, one of the shipwrecks, not the most famous one. This is, this is the one you can see from Paphos itself. Uh, it's a very nice place for a walk there and there's a coast path that goes all the way up to Sandy Beach and all the way to the harbour if you go the other way now. Either that one or this one, I can never remember returning. They are signposted though. And soon we'll be coming to St George's Beach, or well, returning for it anyway, and the St George's Chapel which is very nice. On our left. And there's another red light we've hit. And uh, St George's Beach isn't normally that crowded, but I went there on Green uh, Monday and it was completely hooching cars and barbecues. Here's Leonardo Laura's Splash Resort and if you follow our various walking films you'll know the next up is going to be Baracus Beach Bar. That's a great uh, uh, place to go if you fancy a drink and watching the sea or bite to eat. There's a big uh, kids playground there as well and there's lots of, uh, well two, uh, Interesting features for Instagram lovers. Basically, it's got a huge, great heart and an even bigger chair. Now, just up here on the left, we'll come to the end of the uh, coast path that runs from. Uh, Paphos Harbour, just there in that little car park. So if you want to do it in reverse, that's the place to park. And uh, the next turn on the left will be for Sandy Bay or Sandy Beach, I can never remember which it's called, in Lemba. If you go swimming there, make sure the lifeguards are on duty because that's one of the beaches where people have drowned up because of riptides. They do have blooming great uh, signs up warning this, but they seem to get ignored on a regular basis. Now, after Lemba, we're going to hit Kisonaga. And uh, there is a little beach, I think it's Vardas Beach, on the left, before we get to the main uh, part. But I'm going to concentrate on the crossroads at the top of the hill and if you turn left there, you'll get to Kisonaga Coast Path, which is a really nice uh, little walk. And at the moment, there's no path from Sandy Bay to the uh, Kisonaga Coast Path, but rumour has it that there will be one in the future. That's the turning. Is it that one or the next one? Now I think this is the turning for the coast path up here. Yeah. And I think it's once or twice a year there's a very nice uh, art and craft market on the right in that car park there. 
If it happens to be on when you're around, it's well worth a visit. And there are a number of hotels on the left here and the coast path goes around them and it will peter out when you get to the sea, uh, you beach bath, well before that, just a bit up ahead. Right, the next area we, we are coming down onto is Potima Bay, it's called, where there's the aforementioned CU beach bar. And since we've been coming here, it's gradually got more, I'd say, let's say tamed, i.e. because originally it was just lots of rocks. There's another red light. But it's, it's gradually like uh, more sand has appeared. Rocks have been removed. Uh, the wall has been reinforced. And uh, it's a very nice spot now. It's very popular with uh, sunset photographers as well. And the cafe itself is very nice too. There's a car park for it. Now, in future, there are plans uh, to build a marina here. Whether that happens or not, I don't know, because there have been plans for a marina to be built here since way before we started coming to Cyprus, over a decade ago. To be quite honest, I hope they just remain as planned. Because the area is nice enough as it is. And plus, the road to Paphos from here would be a nightmare if there was a big uh, marina. They'd need to do that up as well. There's a memorial up here uh, to someone who, some poor chap who was hit by a car walking back one night. I think that's it there. So do be careful if you've been up to Coral Bay for the night and you're walking back to a hotel in Kisanaga or better yet get a cab. And we're just approaching Coral Bay now. Before we get to Coral Bay, we will uh, go past the new linear park they're building, which I did an article on recently. And on the right, there's, a, there's two turnings of interest, actually. First one goes to a reservoir whose name I can't uh, begin to pronounce. Yes, that's the dam. But there's also a right turn uh, just before the linear park, actually, which will take you to the village of Akursos. And if you carry on the road uh, through the village, it's a very windy one up the hill, but you'll eventually be in Kafikas. And that route is part of uh, the route taken on our first road trip ebook. which I'll plug now while we're waiting to get to the linear park. All the ebooks are worth uh, a download from Amazon. But the first one, well, the first two cover this route and beyond uh, to sea caves, etc. But here we are coming, that's the uh, Akorsos turning, there. And just up here is the place you'll need to park to go and see the Linear Park. Just after the big sign. So you go in there and immediately turn left and you're at the Linear Park. And now we're getting to Coral Bay Roundabout. And I'm not going to be doing any filming there today. But if you want to know how the renovation work is progressing, it will be opening end of April and uh, fully finished a couple of weeks later. Uh, if you need more information than that, then go on to our main website and look at the articles posted there or on our YouTube channel where there are numerous films and interviews with the engineers involved. Right, on our right up ahead is Philippos Supermarket, which is probably used by just about everyone in Paya. 
there's a big uh, DIY uh, shop uh, run by Philippos next to it now as well. And we'll drive past there and then we'll turn left down past the new Cali Resort which is being renovated and onto the road which would have gone through Coral Bay Strip. I do get asked about the Cali Resort update and how that's coming on. To be honest, uh, other than saying they are working there because I can see workmen as I pass, most of the work uh, at the moment is being done inside. So I couldn't tell you how it's progressing. But I can tell you that they're definitely still working there. I filmed this on Sunday, by the way. I haven't said that, I don't think. I was actually on the way to fly the drone between Coral Bay and Coralia Beach. I'll post footage for that later. There's Cali Resort, you can see all the building site on the left. They were painting some of the outside of the hotel, which was encouraging. But other than that, I'd need to get permission to go inside. And to be honest, that would just delay them, so there's no, not really any point. Right, we're back on the main drag uh, road now. And to our left soon will be the main Cobble Bay Beach. And as I was in my wife's car, I didn't go down there. But if you want to go to Cobble Bay Beach, you'll turn left there. Or left in about 100 yards up here. Because there are two ends to it. And whichever end you prefer. Normally it's whichever end you visit first, I guess. But we always used to go to the left hand side. And uh, we'll be turning left ourselves in a minute because uh, we're going to be finishing at Coralia Beach. So you follow, the, turn left the brown sign here. Now the brown sign is pointing to an archaeological site. Uh, I went there once recently, to be honest I wasn't that impressed with it and um, because they had this very nice display room with a very uh, amazing echo in it but there was nothing to display inside it. It was just empty. And there were a few uh, ruins, uh, sort of foundation ruins, but that was it. But beyond that, you get a turning here, which will take you to Coralia Beach. If you carry on down here, you get to Viedro Free Wreck, which everyone like. well, most people seem to like and sea caves and eventually end up at uh, Aos Georgius and Cap St George. But we're going to be finishing at the Coralia Beach. And so I hope you enjoyed that film. There's the, uh, this is where the bus terminates as well, so it's the easiest beach to get to, this one is. And uh, stay, out, uh, stay on the lookout for our next film. Thanks for watching.